hi to Chaco. <laughs> Go for the Fire Lord Towers again. Sure, why not? Why not? Fire Lord Towers. Ready to work. Pinga, of course, is not going for Fire Lord Towers. He's Orc. I've never seen Orc play a Fire Lord Towers. So. I mean, I have, but not against human. Ready to work. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Job's done. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. Look at these footmen. What is Ping? Is Ping gonna expect this Fire Lord Towers? What the fuck? Schnitzel clearly won that game. Ready to work. Chaco say, what the balshin, please. I hope you're not trying to get me banned here, Zero. Ready for action. Job's done. Pinga 501 APM. He has 546 now. It's harmless. Okay, if you say so. I believe you. Here comes the Blade Master and the Grunt. Okay, guess what we have here for uh, Romantic. Okay, let's look at Pinga's face. Let's see if he's gonna be surprised. Uh, not really surprised. I mean, it looks like he was going straight for the uh, Fire Lord. Not surprised at all. The Fire Lord takes a bit of damage. He has a Lava Spawn. He takes some more damage. Grunt Block, beautiful. He is prepared for a Fire Lord Towers. That's for sure. This Grunt Block, so beautiful. I've never seen a Grunt Block that beautiful before. But the Grunt is done blocking. And now he doesn't know what to do. His Burrow is going up. Let's see if uh, people are going to right-click this Burrow. No, the Peasants, they're no longer Militia. And there goes another Burrow. And this is much worse here for Romantic than last game. The uh, Fire Lord, he gets up another Lava Spawn. This tower going up, the Blade Master finds a Peasant and he just right click him. One Peasant down, second Peasant also going down. Fire Lord running around the uh, tree line. The second Peasant survives, oh, nice, nice Peasant. I also have Cotton Balls, extra soft. It's Cotton Balls? Okay, the Fire Lord, he's so beautiful, smaller us. Is this Heil to Chaco now? That's what we have right now. Here comes the Blade Master. Does, oh, Lava Spawn, John goes down. Samuro going for this uh, Arcane Tower. There's the the Lava Lord, Smolder as Fire Lord. Summons a little Lava Spawn. There's another Militia coming to replace the other one. Hello, Lacrest Fallen, welcome back. Blade Master, is he? He finds his peasant. His peasant is so much trouble. The peasant, is he going to die? Jawohl! Uh, he's dead. And uh, the Blade Master used another uh, Windwalk. These towers are up, but is this going to be enough? Let's see if uh, Pinga can defend. He should be able to defend, but he is not, you know, a super player star. That we know. Like, he's not a focus. He's not a, a Lin. He's not even fly. So, I don't know if he's good enough to beat uh, the towers. We'll see. We have these two peasants, they're super long hit points. There's a lava spawn just multiplying. Now we have two. Zwei! We have Zwei lava spawns now. They're coming in. They're going for. Uh, they attack a grunt once. And now they're going for this uh, this burrow with the five footmen, the two lava spawns, and the fire lord from the, from the north attacking the burrow. The footman here is going to die, but the, the burrow is, is going to die, that's for sure. And if this burrow dies, this tower is going to be uncontested. And their tower is going up now. Maybe this bird can reach the tower. I don't think so, though. I wonder if the arcane tower can reach the burrow. Blade Master, you know, he's so beautiful. He's, he's trying to cut apart the footman. Oh, there's a demolisher. He spawns at the north side, though. But the speed scroll saves him easy peasy. There's the first demolisher. There's a tower going up. This burrow placed over there. And he's getting the spike barricade. Such a nice upgrade. So much damage against footmen. This footmen here in, in a lot of damage, but uh, they in a lot of trouble. But it's really, it's only really good if you can also get a second upgrade. The first one doesn't do that much damage. 
But the thing is, he doesn't have enough lumber to get the second one. He needs more peons on wood. This blade master to trees a little bit. This this guard tower takes so much damage. Here comes the footman. And this grunt, uh, this grunt is dead. This watchtower is taking so much damage. Oh, ah! A grunt goes down. The blade master killing footman. And the blade master buys a healing potion or something, and he uh, he's back to a uh, good amount of hit points. Just no second hero. The barracks, of course, is a rebuild because you need the barracks. You need to keep building those demolishers to defend this. The fire lord uh, working on this barracks. He is using his lava shots. Look at the lava shot. Another lava shot on this uh, on this barracks. And the barracks goes down before the demolisher shows up. He's building a second demolisher here. His tower is going up. Look at this demolisher doing so little damage. One demolisher gets out repaired, of course, by just a few peasants. Uh, you need three. If you can get three demolishers, you can hold this off. Uh, two is putting a lot of pressure on these towers, but uh, still getting out repaired. Usually by the peasants. One is kind of irrelevant. You know, this one demolisher just doing a little bit of damage, a little bit, just a little bit. There goes another tower. Okay, there's the second one. Like with two demolishers, you can keep the towers the same. With one demolisher, uh, still there's more towers being built than you can kill. This uh, this demolisher in trouble though. He's surrounded by the footman. Six foot, seven footman going with a surprise this round. He does get a lava spawn. He's level two now. Better not let this demolisher die. Uh, that's pretty important. And uh, blade mass. Oh, this tower is up, but it is down. The tower, you know, what can he do? Against defended footman, not much really. I feel like these towers are hardly worth it. I mean, instead of towers, getting that level two spike barricades is maybe even better. We have a second demolisher out again. Uh, the footman going for this demolisher. He's outside of the base. He could save and maybe killing the trees. I wonder if, if that would be an epic play, but maybe it's not worth it. Just going for the footman. There's a speed scroll. Can he get the fire lord? Sh sure. Can he do something with this demolisher and with the speed school? Maybe he could have uh, walked to the right and tried to escape. <laughs> no, that's not never going to happen. This demolisher does go down. This demolisher defending here. The footman, uh, this peasant is so dead. It's a guard. Oh, the demolisher though. That's the last one he has. The footman, they kill it. And uh, this is looking pretty bad now for Mr. Pinge. Schnitzel. And uh, this, this peon standing over the air repairing the stronghold by himself I wonder if one of these burrows in, is in range of these towers he better kill these towers if, if they're in range especially this one put one peon in this burrow see if it's in range the blade master going for it this uh, stronghold is going down the fire lord isn't even here but he's gonna win the war while in his sleep no yes he, he will be back and he's like oh you guys won the, the war for me GG nowadays it's standard to do one burrow he does go for the double burrow because he realizes Romantics just towering him, Fire Lord towering him. The double burrow opening is much better against the Fire Lord. But I feel like players like Lin and Fly, they can beat the Fire Lord towers even if they go solo uh, burrow fast tech. That's probably why that's the standard now. But Pinga, he's no Lin and no Fly. Why no Warcraft of Three? Da Diablo Three also happened. It's just you know, the the. You know, no one builds RTS games anymore. Not enough money, but maybe they'll find a way to to get a lot of money. You know, to get uh, microtransactions in the game, and then they make it work for. Well, he did go for the second burrow, so he doesn't need to scout the center. I mean, yeah, he's going for this uh, this ogre. Whoa. Chaco, why is the Netherlands so good in speed skating? Because uh, everyone goes to work on their skates. The Blade Mash here, he does have a super nice circlet of nobility. Here comes the Fire Lord. Uh, Wooden Launch is going down. Or is it going down? Yes, yeah, going down. Blade Master, he took a bit of damage, but not enough that he cannot defend this. This Burrow here defending. Uh, there's a second Burrow, of course. Uh, grunt, of course. Two Grunts. A burrow here in the front before a single tower goes up. The Blade Master right clicks uh, the Fire Lord. Hate Spark. 
Uh, he's not allowed in my uh, my channel, guys. If you see Hate Spark in my channel, please ban him. There's a second grunt. These grunts killing peasants. There goes another peasant. These two grunts are so beautiful. There's another burrow going up. And that look, that's such a nice defensive perimeter. The Blade Master, he finds the Fire Lord. Can he kill him? Yes. Yeah, the Fire Lord is dead. Good. Nice banish there. I mean, not the spell banish, but. He banned the Fire Lord from my game. The Grunts here fighting against these uh, Footman. This Footman does retreat. It's this one will be up in time. I wonder if it's a reach of, of this Guard Tower. A grunt does go down. Peon, go in the burrow. Right click this Guard Tower if you can. Maybe he's trying. Or he's going for the Lava Spawn first. But Lava Spawn does uh, multiply. These units here for Pinger are so low. Blade Master and the Grunt. He's not attacking, by the way. He's not building a, a war mill either. He's just relying on these burrows. He does try to repair, but not good enough. He gets rid of the lava spawns. And uh, I'm sure he probably already tried to right click the tower. And he, I guess it's just not in the range. Blade Master defending here. He has healing salves. There's a healing salve on the grunt. There's the war mill going up. Healing salve on the Blade Master as well. His barracks taking damage. Oh, but only if he has vision. That is beautiful. Where's the pit lord? Well, he's not uh, attacking yet. Is he going? He's not. Uh, maybe it's just gonna try to defend with uh, watchtowers. This is a situation where you might be able to do that uh, because there's no pressure on the town hall. These towers are so far away from the town hall. Uh, he has enough grunts to protect his towers from the evil footman. I think, yeah, he, look at this. He's, he's just fighting next to the towers. Ah, oh, there goes a the peasant. Blade Master going for the Fire Lord Hate Spark again. This uh, peasant here is going down four grunts now. It's only, only one guard tower, so the grunts, they don't take a shit ton of damage. Just a little bit. He has two peons in his burrow. Let's see, the war mill is almost up. He does rebuild the, the barracks. Not sure if that's already needed, right? If he's not attacking, second barracks. When uh, when there's only these two towers attacking the barracks, I feel it's a bit too early. That's fine, of course. Uh, okay, this, this tower cancelled it. Better position. This tower is in range of this tower, but this tower not in range of this one, or the other way around. Uh, what I'm trying to say is this tower can attack this one. This one cannot attack that one because the orc towers, the watch towers have more range than the guard towers. This, uh, but the, here come the footmen. They do cancel that one. Oh, he builds it, but this one is too close. Oh, the grunts are just going for the, uh, does he have pillage? <laughs> I don't think he has pillage, but he's going for this tower. The peons were, okay, they're repairing now. One grunt does go down. The blade master going for the fire lord in the meantime, but he has to retreat. The grunts, he's losing so much grunts. Is this uh, worth it? I doubt it. He uses his speed school. He gets a fire lord and he gets a level three blade master. But is he gonna survive? Yeah, he survives. But he lost one grunt, and actually he just lost one grunt. These grunts are still alive. They're super long hit points, and this tower is going down, of course, because in range of this guard tower and two lava spawns as well, helping out. Blade master healing. He buys the boots of speed. There goes the guard tower, uh, the watch tower. Rebuilds it again. I think it's in range of this tower. He should build it like half a hex or half a. Off. Like there, pretty much is what I'm saying. He should build it there, but maybe it's not in range. Maybe this is pr just perfect. Seems like it's just perfect. Okay, Pinge is the perfect player. I mean, after screwing it up a few times, he is the perfect player. His grunts are healing. He forgot to, or he didn't heal one. Okay, he heals them now. This watchtower cancelled again. And it seems like these watchtowers. I mean, he's not under a lot of pressure anyway. Like, now these towers can't attack anything anymore. There's footman over there. The blade master, if the blade master finds them, he can kill like two or three of them. He has a protection scroll and a healing scroll. Oh, the peon attack. What is this attack? It's a beautiful peon attack. One of the peon dies. The blade master kills a peasant. But he's out of mana. Here come the grunts, though. Are they going to kill this tower? There goes another peon. The blade master is he going to die? <laughs> <laughs> he is surrounded and no mana. GG Blade Master. The grunts here. Uh, this is level three Blade Master, and he GG's out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't. I think he still could have won, 
even after losing the Blade Master. This is like the first game we see without the Fire Lord Towers. I don't know what to expect now. Schnitzel. I haven't eaten Schnitzel yet. Not that I remember. Hello, Chuckle, my man. Hello, Master Bear Bear, my bear. Spicy pancake. Spicy pancake? I don't even know what it is. Anyway, the uh, the, the horsey guy goes down. Wah! Glove of haste. He uses the lightning suit against the, the little wizards. It's not very fair. Gets some slippers of agility. Uh, he has a footman scouting here. The blade master. I guess he's surprised. He's surprised he's not Fire Lord Towerhurst. I wonder... Oh, he, he went for a late burrow again this game. I wonder what's going on inside Pinga's head. Is he thinking like, okay... No Fire Lord Towers, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like, what, what is he thinking? Is he thinking, okay, now I win? Or is he thinking, okay, now I lose? Is he thinking, is he just... Maybe he's not thinking about it at all. He's just giving it his all. He's just so focused on this game. This grunt doesn't want his healing self cancelled. The footman wants to cancel it, though. The footman, look at this uh, right-click on the grunt. Such a beautiful right-click there, but the grunt is too fast. I assume it's Okonomiyaki, but maybe I'm wrong. The spice is pancake. Uh, Okonomiyaki is... Not, I mean, I guess you can make it spicy. Yeah, it's not really spicy, but it is uh, like a vegetable pancake, vegetables and and some pasta, pasta in it as well. Sometimes, sometimes there's like noodles in it. Depends where you get it. Uh, the blade master, he, he gets a boost of speed. The Archmage sells his slippers of agility. He has a staff. The blade master, does he see anything? No, he walks right. By oh, now, now he knows. Uh, do they have backpack? No, they killed the item. They must have killed the item. This footman is in so much danger. And the Archmage staff to over here. He's creeping over here. He gets a nice slippers of agility again. That's not what he wanted. Water metal expires. The blade master is over here. Spicy like pumpkin pancake. Never had pumpkin pancake. You ever ate fugu chaco? No, because you know I don't want to die. <laughs> Arch also, it's very expensive. Archmage is uh, close to level three. He's level three now. There's a dome of strength. Look at this uh, blade master. What does he get? He gets a gloves of haste. The Archmage is level three. He can cancel the tier two. He can cancel whatever he wants to cancel. Does he get a beast master? Does he get? A oh, he's still far from tier two. Doesn't need one. Okay, what's it gonna cancel? Burrows, war mills. Shannonger will be there in a moment. There's another water elemental, two water elementals going for this burrow. Blade match level one, arc match level three. This is usually not how you wanna play this game. Uh, this footman is taking so much damage. There goes the burrow. And what's it going for the next? The next burrow. Okay, the water elemental is going for the burrow. This footman, does he kill himself? No, he tried to, but he was too slow. What is he doing here? Hello. Only the Archmage has a staff. The footmen, they don't have staffs. Imagine if the footmen all had a staff. And you could just staff all these units to wherever you wanted them to. That would be so amazing. This water elemental taking a bit of damage. The Blade Master it chops it up from behind and it's down to 22 hit points. And it does go down. Meanwhile, the Archmage over here with some footmen. There is a Shadow Hunter. There is a Spirit Lodge. There is a Bestiary. What a beautiful game here. What a beautiful game. And look at the uh, ping just creeping over here. A nice set of sentry wards. And here comes... Here comes Romantic with the Beastmaster. And can I kill more burrows? He is definitely gonna cancel this bestiary. Okay, well, Blade Master is gonna kill Footman or two. The Beast Master maybe attacks the Blade Master once or twice. A Blade Master pretty low on hit points actually. You could just right click the Blade Master for a little bit. Just force him to go to the south of the base and buy a healing potion. But he, uh, but maybe if he does that he cannot get the Beastiary. So he makes sure he gets the Beastiary. And he gets the Beastiary. And he is now going for the Spirit Lodge. The Beast, Beast Master is a little crap. And is he dead? He's dead guys. But the Spirit Lodge is going. Is the Spirit Lodge down or not? It is down. It is cancelled and uh, 
I wonder if Pinga is going to keep playing or if he's going to GG just yet. It seems like he's still playing. There uh, goes the Burrow. There's so many summons here. Hello, the Shadowhunter level 2 now. And uh, the Blade Master almost level 3 though. Remember a moment ago he was just barely uh, level 2. Or he was level 1 even. And now he's almost level 3. That's how much uh, the XP these summons give. Another Water Elemental. Going for these Burrows. There's no tier 2 whatsoever here for Pinga. And of course Romantic, he's just doing whatever uh, he wants. He is just building units and stuff. Chaco, you casting anything after this? Yeah, but just letter games. Just practice games. The water metal is over here. He's quite beautiful. Okay. Does he build anything? A are under he has the lumber for one tier two building. There it is, bestiary. Doesn't have the, the lumber for a second one. He has the gold. He has so much gold. Let's see if he gets a super item and uh, makes a comeback. He needs one. He needs a super nice item here. Belt of Giant Strength, not good enough. Here comes the Militia. Here comes the Towers. He has two towers. He has a level 3 Archmage, level 1 Beastmaster. And he yeah, and the Shadowhunter is not going to be level 3 just yet. Although he's pretty close already. Level 2 and a half. His Blade Master. Finds the militia. Uh, the militia might. <laughs> this burrow is still on hit points, 185. Or not still. I guess this, this is that uh, water elemental or whatever that was still over here. The Archmage here doing a bit of damage against the Blade Master. Could send a piggy in maybe to go for this burrow. Just killed the burrow. Well, we'll have to defend the towers now. One arcane tower here takes a little bit of damage. The sources are just slowing everything. We have a headhunter going for the tower with two headhunters even. Spear Skull used the grants and the headhunters are so beautiful, but there's no there's no raiders and spirit walkers and Kodos. He's building a Kodo. This piggy is Michael, this uh, water metal, so beautiful. Uh, the sources is what why are they taking the blade master? The romantic doesn't even micro anymore. Like sources kill the grunts so fast. But instead they're attacking a Blade Master. Okay, Blade Master is going for a priest. Maybe he can get a kill. He gets a kill. Nice kill there. But meanwhile, he loses a headhunter and another one. Uh, he's going for this tower. He gets a tower. The Kodo eats uh, drinks a water elemental. And that's nice. The sorceress takes a little bit of damage, but not that much because our Blade Master was not critting. And look how little damage he does actually if he doesn't crit. He only does plus six damage. He uh, kills the footman. And he has a level one crit only, by the way. This tower is going down very likely, but this grunt is also going down very likely. And also this code is going down very likely. And that means the water elemental is saved. Yay, everyone's so happy uh, that the water is saved. And another tower going back up. Pinga at nice 26 supply. Romantic at a bit higher supply of 44. This tower is going up again slowly. Their spirit lodge is finally going up. Is he going to cancel it? Is he going to cancel it? No, he's going for the Burrow. Like, why cancel the Spirit Lodge if you just kill the Burrow? He can never use it anyway. He kills one Burrow, goes for this, not the second one, because he's going to defend his tower from the evil Blade Master, Tojara. Uh, this peasant does go down. There's a Water Elemental, just, you know, it's so beautiful. Speed Skull was used. Grunt here, slow the piggy sends in. The piggies and the Water Elemental is working on the, on the Burrow. There it is, GG. Romantic wins 3-0 to zero over Pinga, wins the Fast Cup, easy peasy, easiest peasy tournament of Romantic's life, although the semifinals were pretty nice.